Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 18th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, uh, thanks for being here this week. A relatively quiet week in the market for macroeconomic news this week, although uh, we continue to see interest rates trending higher for most of the week. Uh, earlier in the week, they saw uh, the report on the producer price index, which showed continued high inflation readings. Uh, Muni yields, uh, the 30-year MMD moved above 2% for the first time this year. We actually had to change the uh, scale on the chart that we show every week showing uh, where that ends up. Uh, then at the end of the week, uh, they came down a little bit. Uh, some of the news on uh, potential tensions between Russia and Ukraine sparked a flight to quality bid. So there was a little bit of easing in that at the end of the week, but they still remained higher for the week. Uh, speaking about Muni specifically, we did see outflows resume, and that was something we telegraphed in last week's video. Uh, mutual fund outflows were down uh, $1.3 billion this week, and uh, Grant Dewey last week told us to probably expect that for the coming weeks that uh, individual investors are going to be a little more volatile, uh, particularly as they see statements showing total return losses uh, for January on their funds. Uh, but uh, still uh, seems like a manageable uh, amount of outflows in the context of the overall market. Uh, new issues continue to get priced, and that's where you were focusing this week. So let's uh, ask you what you saw in the new issue market this past week. Sure. So the new issue market was the overall calendar was in line with, with expectations at roughly five and a half billion dollars. Um, for BAM, we had a relatively active week with uh, 19 transactions priced for 250 million of par. I mean, we had activity in 10 states this week. So some less active states in the insurance world, such as Missouri, Michigan, and Louisiana, all had some BAM deals priced this week. Uh, some highlighted deals for, for the week were the Mendocino Lake Community College District in California. That was a $50 million deal underwritten by Piper Sandler. Uh, there was a $36 million Carbondale, Illinois deal by JP Morgan, which was highlighted on last week's video as well. And then there was a Northwest Missouri State University deal with UMB. And we saw on the, on the Missouri deal, initially the yields went out to the market and we saw some healthy bumps along the way before that deal was uh, settled in. And so that's what you expect to see, right? In a, in a volatile market, uh, an underwriter is looking for a little more certainty, investors looking for a little more credit protection. And so the use of insurance is uh, higher in, in those conditions. Uh, for the coming week, we do have a holiday shortened week. President's Day is on Monday. Uh, again, uh, the calendar will be a little bit lighter than the average uh, year to date. What are you uh, looking forward to? Right. So as you alluded to, the calendar will not be as, as high as expected. We've really seen uh, new issue calendars be a little bit lighter than expected coming into the year, but we're expecting another $6 billion calendar next week. Um, we expect to see competitive volume really increase next week. I think on Monday, we have about 15 transactions that BAM is bidding and offering insurance on in the competitive space. There's 150 million of uh, BAM insured par expected in the negotiated space across a multitude of transactions and, and in the states that you would expect, California, New York, Pennsylvania. And one thing to watch, uh, as of Thursday, the uh, ratio of 30-year yields on MMD to the Treasury was just short of 90%. It was at 89%. Uh, munis have underperformed Treasuries uh, over the last couple of days. So it'll be interesting to see if that continues or if the light calendar gives the Muni market a chance to uh, regain some momentum and, and move back to the 80% range that we had seen uh, much of the year. Right. And we're also following bid wanted activity in the secondary market. We saw that this week be a little bit lighter than it has been recently. But towards the end of this week, we saw more trades going away to customers. So some customers are getting comfortable with the yield levels and things like that. So we're, we're really following that activity as well. Right. And certainly that's been the report is that cash was moving onto the sidelines. It wasn't moving into other markets. People were waiting to see uh, how the uh, inflation outlook resolved. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out in the coming weeks. Right. Thanks for your time, Chris. Thanks, Mike.